What's going on guys, it's me Jiggly and I'm back with another Minecraft Mod Block Spotlight tutorial and today that is on the Turbine Power Port from Big Reactors. Now real quick guys, down below we do have a featured subscriber within the community as well as a featured comment, so please go show them some love and as always guys, thank you so much for watching, let's get into this. <laughs> guys so like all mod block spotlight tutorials we gotta know how to make it so this one is super similar to the reactor power port this is just the turbine power port but it is uh, turbine housings on the corners as well as four redstone and a diamond pattern nothing in the middle and it's gonna provide us that power port so real quick we'll go zoom in on it so you can definitely see it so you have the four turbine housings the four redstone and a diamond pattern and that's gonna give you the turbine power port so super easy to craft, super easy to make, and this is what it looks like as a standalone, or if you stack a couple of them together. Uh, and then ours is right here on this back side of the reactor or the turbine, okay? And it's still draining some power from when I shut it off there. And so it's coming into the capacitor bank here. And so the way this one's set up is it's like it fills the capacitor bank in three spots. Doesn't it doesn't make it any more functional? It just ensures that power gets to our bank, I guess. So. That's the power port tap. Um, as far as I know, I believe it can only do 10,000 RF per tick. I could be wrong though. I haven't ever had mine go over 10,000 RF per tick, so I couldn't tell you further. Uh, but as far as I know, that one goes around 10,000 RF per tick. So we'll go ahead and turn the reactor on for a minute. And as you can see coming over here, it's going to be feeding power out. And our capacitor bank is going in as the turbine spins and gets faster. So, yeah. Yeah. It's that simple, guys. That easy. That's the turbine power tap. It allows you to extract the RF from your turbine housing or your turbine structure, multi block uh, structure. So, yeah. That's, that's, uh, I think that's about what I can tell you about it. Uh, it's a sweet looking little block. You can use, uh, like, different conduits as well. If you want to use, like, Ender IO's conduit, you can uh, pipe onto it. Well, I don't know. Can you might be able to? Let's see. Yeah. So, yeah, Ender IO. Uh, that one will do it as well. So, uh, what else can we do? Uh, well, you can use all kinds of flux. I'm just using the cryo stabilized flux. Um, I'm pretty sure Buildcraft has something too for it. But, yeah, that's. Uh, that looks so cool. It was a single blog. <laughs> That's the Turbine uh, Power Port tutorial for you. I hope it's been helpful. As always, if it has, be sure to show some love. I appreciate the support, guys. And as always, stay tuned for more videos. There's many, many Minecraft mod block tutorials if you need some on the channel. And there's always more coming. So, as always, guys, stay tuned for more. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>